Hi everyone, today I'm making these Christmas stocking cookies. I've already cut out sugar cookies with a stocking cookie cutter. Now we have to prepare our royal icing. To begin I divide two portions of royal icing, one to remain white and one to be colored red. For the red I add a little bit more because we'll need a little bit more icing for that part of the cookie. We want our white icing to be flood consistency. To achieve this, we add enough water until it reaches so. When we get near the right consistency, I find it useful to use this eyedropper to add more water. I have better control this way so I don't add too much. You know you've reached flood consistency when your icing looks like this. You should be able to run your spatula with a figure 8 and within time the figure 8 should disappear back into the royal icing. It shouldn't stay. The second portion of my royal icing needs to be colored red. To do this I just get a butter knife and some gel paste and mix it into the royal icing. Before I go any further with my cookies, I like to prepare my icing bags by filling them with royal icing. To do this, I get a 10 inch pastry bag and fold it over near the top. I place it inside a tall cup where I can then pour the royal icing inside. Once filled, I like to use these bread clips to secure the pastry bag. This way no icing flows out when I put down my pastry bag. This bag is fitted with round tip number 3. I then repeat the process with my red royal icing. I like to use this plastic shelf inlay to hold my pastry bags while I'm not using them. I place them in like so, so they don't flow out while I'm not using them. For the top of my stocking, I want to create the effect of fur. To do this, I get white sprinkles and lay them on a plate. Before pouring the sprinkles on the plate, I lay down two sheets of paper towel, otherwise the sprinkles will just bounce right off. Now we can begin icing our cookies. To start, I get my flood consistency white royal icing and pipe the top of the stocking. Using the scribe tool, I just work the icing until it's consistent and smooth. While the icing is still wet, I gently dip it in the sprinkles. Once I've had time for that to dry, I'm now ready to pipe on my bread royal icing on the remainder of the cookie. I repeat the process with the scribe tool to get a smooth consistency on the cookie. I allow the cookies to fully dry before I put on the bows. For the bows, I get stiff consistency white royal icing in a pastry bag fitted with tip 104. Make sure that the narrow side is pointed up. For the main part of the bow, I pipe a figure 8.
I then pipe on the ribbons, making a squiggly motion. Allow the royal icing on your cookies to fully dry, and then they're done.